Hello everyone, so today we are out here to correct an installation for a client that has been having issue with his solar system for quite a while now. So according to the client, he has not been really enjoying the system, but something happened recently that escalates the whole of the issue. His inverter got fried, his central stabilizer burnt, even his prepaid meter burnt, and that's why we are here. So let's go inside and see what this gentleman has in setup before we do our magic to fix everything. Hello everyone, my name is Bashe from Italian. So come with me, let's go and check it out. Okay, so we are inside now, and this is what we met. Change over one, change over two, change over three, change over four. We thought this one was for the pumping machine, but no, it's not. This is for Nepal and Gen. This is for Nepal and Gen. I think this is for inverter. This, I don't even know what it's doing. This is the charge controller. The inverter, we've removed it. The one that got fried, we've removed it. So this is just the one they are using pending. This is the charge controller, no breaker, no surge, nothing, nothing. These are the batteries, four set of 220 amps tubular batteries. And upstairs, there are six pieces of 300 watt panel to charge four batteries, six pieces of 300 watts. So that's that. Then this is the stabilizer that burnt, it has burnt also. With this small changeover, the system is too complicated. Even the client, he himself used to get confused sometimes that, okay, which one should he switch up or down? It's too complicated, but we're going to make everything as simple as it can be for them. Now, let's do our magic and turn everything to something nice. We're currently loading the panels up now. These are the previous panels, six pieces of 300 watts. And this is 600 watts, two pieces. So we are going to be adding more to this 600 watts panels. We are just putting two pieces, just because we don't want to use this alone. It cannot work. But then we have a problem. How do we match this 600 watts with the 300 watts? We have just one cable, which is 10 mm flex. So how do we match it? We have a problem of that. This is what we plan to do. We want high voltage, which means we have to series all the panels, right? But then we can't just series all the panels because if we series everything together, our 600 watts, the two pieces 600 watts that we have, they are going to be downgraded to 300 watts because these 300 watts that we have are going to be the one that will set the parameters for the entire string because voltage will add up, but then it is going to pick the lowest current of the string which is going to be the current of this 3300 watt panel. So I have an ideology. Normally we can just solve this. We have two charge controller, but I don't want my client to go and buy another 10mm cable. So I have an ideology that I want to try and I hope it works. What if we merge 3300 watts to two and turn these six pieces into three strings? So we parallel 3300 watts to two and then we are now going to series them together. So they are going to be one two three since our 600 watts is 15 amps of current our 3 300 watts is 8 amps if we parallel two two together we should be having theoretically 16 so which i think is going to be able to level up like that now if we do that and we did not get our calculated value inside then we have no choice than to add another cable and bring these panels down separately. We'll round up now and head inside to go and see what we are able to harvest from these solar panels. But I doubt we'll be able to do that today because it's already to five. We might have to come and check that tomorrow. Here they are just doing the wire and once they are done, we we'll take it inside and mount now we are back to the site the second day now remember i told you we are going to connect our 300 watts to two now plans has changed upon doing that connection we discover something the solar panels up there has also gotten affected by thunder this is it in fact it was so burnt that it's burnt beyond repair now we can try and say we want to fix this but because it's so burnt out, we might be having issue of partial contacts. We just want to avoid it. Even if I'm going to use these panels, it's not going to be at this side. So I'm just going to replace the panels. We have three damaged panels. It's three of them. They're all burnt. Look at this one. 
what we are doing now is since we can no longer use these panels we decide to get additional 600 watts we now have three pieces of 600 watts then we take two pieces from the three that is left and merge it and hopefully we'll get a good result now look at what happened at this site this client has thunder restor installed yes central stabilizer for protection and yet thunder still found its way into a system this is to tell you that you can have thunder restor installed and thunder will still find its way to your system the best way to avoid lightning with your system is to make sure you have an isolator in between your solar panel and your system which is usually a dc breaker so when it's raining if you are opportune to be around just turn it off it's more safer if you think you can rely on this thunder restore you should ask yourself have you ever seen any industrial setup that uses this kind of thunder restore in their facility that's to tell you that there are limits to what this residential thunder restore can arrest so if the direction of thunder restore is coming to your house or office and you are so confident that this residential thunder restor can protect you well it might not be so and you might be a victim of something like this our client has spent a lot in fact i'm touched i'm feeling for him but then i have to do what we need to do so that he can be able to use his lights now we are done with our transformation look what we have here we have a 6.2 kilowatt hybrid inverter the battery still remains the same but very soon we are going to change it to at least 5 kilowatt more baby steps for now our changeover the bulky changeover we've gotten rid of it we now have this alone which is nepa gen this one is not really necessary maybe for emergency bypass this is the bypass and permanent and down here is the inverter nepa generator whatever is all here here we have our isolator our dc surge this is the output protector which is specifically to protect the inverter from over current while this one is for the impure side to protect the water against under voltage and over voltage why this is the ac surge now this distribution board contains all the water load while this one contains all the loads that are not on the inverter and with all this i think we've been able to protect our clients from likes of lightning over voltage under voltage overload and anything abnormal for this entire setup so my people, if you want to protect yourself from such thing happening to you or it has happened to you, you know what to do. Hit my DM or send us an email at internet 2 at gmail.com. Catch you in the next one. My name is Bashir from Internet.